Call of Duty is going back to its roots with World War II, the upcoming game this year that will take players back to the kind of games that made the franchise so big to begin with, and it is sounding like next year's game, developed by Treyarch, may not continue that trend. It sounds like next year's game won't be a World War game at all. This is just according to a job listing on Treyarch's website, which seems to specifically request someone with familiarity with modern day military hardware and weaponry. Now, I feel like it's best to point out that even if the game being developed were a future warfare one, it is likely Treyarch would prefer someone with experience with modern real day weapons since their fictional weapons would be based on real ones to begin with. So the job listing in and of itself doesn't confirm anything, but it definitely seems to hint at something interesting nonetheless. Call of Duty World War II is due this November on PS4, Xbox One, and PC by Sledgehammer Games. Treyarch's game will likely release, presumably, in November next year. We should know what it is by then. Whether it's PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds creator Brendan Green or developer Bluehole, neither quite expected the Battle Royale game to have as much success as it's now experienced. When Green, who serves as creative director, pitched the idea to Bluehole, he predicted it would sell 1 million units in the first month. Speaking of Polygon, he said that the development team, which was made up of gaming industry veterans, had different estimates. They predicted around 200,000 to 300,000 units sold in the first year. A lot of the internal team, they really couldn't believe it. There was a few veterans of the game industry that were saying like, no, no, 200,000 or 300,000 the first year. But then when we hit that first million, there were a lot of smiles around the office. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds has sold more than 10 million units since releasing in March becoming perhaps the highest selling single platform title this year before it releases on Xbox One via game preview that is. It also unseated Dota 2 on Steam with the highest number of concurrent players in history crossing the 1 million mark fairly recently. As for the Xbox One release, there's currently no release date, but it's slated to arrive by 2017 end. The game is still estimated to exit early access in 2018. Borderlands 2 was released back in 2012. And soon enough, fans were hyped for the third installment in the series. Gearbox, however, released Borderlands the pre-sequel back in 2014. The next installment in the franchise will be a significant step forward, according to Randy Pitchford, president of Gearbox Studio. Pitchford pointed to Rockstar's approach regarding the Grand Theft Auto series and how each game releases only a while after the previous one, and this in turn allows each new installment to be innovative and fresh to fans of the franchise. With the next installment of Borderlands, Pitchford and his team seem to be following a similar route. If we're going to do one, it's going to be that, Pitchford stated to IGN in reference to how big fans want Borderlands 3 to be, and that's not something you could just cook up overnight. The easiest thing in the world would be for us to churn out a lot of pre-sequels, and we could make a lot of money, Pitchford stated, but I don't think that's, I think we need to figure this out and do this right. So we're going to work on it, and when we think we've had it, we're not going to announce anything until we think we have something worthy of announcing and then we'll set expectations on that. While Borderlands 3 has not yet been officially announced, the studio has in recent past implied that a lot of them are working on the latest installment in the series. It may be a while before we have any official news regarding Borderlands 3's release, but as of now, the studio's emphasis on quality and innovation is certainly a step in the right direction. Shenmue 3 launches next year, finally bringing the main arc of the series to an end, but it is the conclusion to a story that began almost two decades ago, while there may be many fans who remember what happened in the original games, for many, Shenmue is a brand new game, and they have no context as to what led up to the events of the third game, which is why a collection of the original two games remastered for modern day consoles would make a lot of sense. But thus far, an official announcement on that has not been made, although it sounds like one might be in the works anyway. A Shenmue 1 and 2 pack appeared for the PS4 and Xbox One on the site of Czech retailer Alza and the sites of Slovak retailers Hureka, Get Game, and Mad Gamer, via Neogap that is. The general saying goes, where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's far too much smoke here to ignore. It seems like a Shenmue collection for both consoles may be in the works after all. Curiously enough, a PC version is not listed, which is bizarre since Shenmue 3 is headed to PS4 and PC, but not Xbox One. That said, there is a possibility that it will be Steam only, which would explain the lack of retailers listing it. But wait, there is more. It sounds like there's another leak, and this one is likely to make many modern gamers very happy indeed. Multiple retailers, UK website alza.co.uk, filmgame.cz, and estelocnacy, to name three, seem to have had listings of a Bayonetta and Vanquish pack go up, complete with box art and everything for the Xbox One and PS4. This is rather conclusive unless some bored employee decided to waste valuable time on the clock making phony box arts. 
This means that Platinum's most celebrated games will be available on Xbox and PlayStation. It also means PlayStation may finally get a good playing version of Bayonetta. Of course, Bayonetta 2 is not included here, but it's very unlikely that the game will ever be on a non-Nintendo system to begin with. Hopefully, this double pack is officially announced soon. Until then, we await with bated breath. That'll be it for this video. If you like what we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.